Well, I'm beginning to think every winter is unusual. Last year was unusually high amounts of snow. This year is just unusual because it's been stormy the whole month of January, but we really haven't seen that much snow. This is a convergence zone between the Glass Mountains and McGee kind of area over the Long Valley area. And we can expect a storm coming in late Sunday, more like Monday. Monday would be the stormy day. And I have to make a comment about this again. If someone saw whoever did this, the way they drove off the road onto the grass by the Snow Creek driving range, just to show off and just ruin this grass, I don't know if it's against the law, but someone like this should certainly get a ticket. They must be brain dead. I'll tell you, we have been having some unusual weather lately and a convergence zone which forms a lot between the Glass Mountains and McGee Canyon is a zone of an area of prevailing flows where air meets and interacts with uh, two different flows and eventually forms clouds and precipitation. And there were quite a few beginner skaters at Mammoth Rec Center. I'm a beginner meteorologist trying to predict the weather for this area. has been pretty difficult this winter. It is Sunday, January 21st, 2024. Now let's see, we're uh, one full month into the winter. Uh, December 21st was a solstice. It's January 21st. And this unusual winter continues as uh, could be a perfect winter though where there's a uh, Kind of plenty of snow or enough snow up on Mammoth Mountain and in the mountains, but hardly any snow here in town. And that was a shot of a convergence zone, a defined convergence zone between the Glass Mountains and McGee Canyon. A convergence zone is an area of two prevailing flows of air that meet and interact and eventually form clouds and precipitation. That's my, uh, that's the exact definition of a convergence zone. So I'm a beginner meteorologist and there were quite a few beginner skaters over at the Mammoth Rec Center yesterday afternoon having fun learning how to skate and pushing their friends around on those little scooter things. Um, so again, trying to predict the weather for this area has been definitely hard this season. Last year it was just a big winter and it came uh, one after another after another storms. This year the storms don't seem to quite make it over to the west side or to the east side. Um, lots of rain over on the west side, especially from this pattern, and uh, I'll try to get in more details in a minute here, but it is Sunday, January 21st, 2024. Hello everyone, I'm Dan McConnell. We're, so we're exactly three weeks into the new year and 10 hours of sunlight this time of the year. Sunrise at 7.08, starting to gain time in the morning of sunlight. 5.07 is the uh, sunset and temps vary from 22 degrees down at Mammoth Airport, 32 degrees in town, 19 degrees at the top and actually light winds up there with that weird cloud cover over the top. That's not even Dave's cloud. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's an interesting flow of low clouds. Uh, southwest winds at the top only 10 to 15 miles per hour, 28 degrees over at the June Mountains Chalet, 30 degrees down in Bishop, but barometric pressure throughout the area is pretty low at 29.82. So low pressure over the area will be in place through Monday and into Tuesday with unsettled weather. And of course, uh, most important question, how much snow will we get? Well, according to the National Weather Service out of Reno, six to 14 inches of snow are possible uh, between town and the upper elevations and a chance, a 20% chance of 18 inches in the upper elevations. And according to the National Weather Service out of Hanford, they're saying we have a 20 to 30% chance of 20 inches or more in the upper elevation so the tough question to answer how much precipitation will we get here right in in this area but it looks like we could get a, a fair amount 
over the mountains and just a little bit here in town between now and Tuesday and then another little system comes through on Wednesday before things will start to dry out and uh, uh, turn to a dry and warming trend later this week. But again, look for some snow moving in later today through most of Monday and lingering into Tuesday, then another little system on Wednesday, and then it might clear out by next weekend. Um, Let's see, Mammoth Mountain reported about 11 inches of new snow, that's a two-day total, about 14 inches at the top. The base depth at the top of Mammoth Mountain is about 80 inches, 65 at McCoy Station, and 50 inches at uh, Main Lodge. And really good, creamy, wind-blown snow. Now today there's not much uh, wind, at least not yet. And I don't think this storm is going to bring in a lot of wind, at least I didn't see that. Probably be some gusty winds off and on as the uh, storms approach. Uh, base depth again uh, in, t in town is maybe only a foot and hardly any new snow over at June, which is interesting. Tamarack Cross Country Ski Center is open. They've got some good trails up in the Lakes Basin. And so it uh, looks like the stay is starting out to be pretty darn nice. So get out there and have some fun. Mammoth Mountain's open from 8.30 until 4. Don't forget Kid Drive for free over at June. And the views are free too, and you can grab a, a drink at the Antler Bar and sit on the deck. Beautiful views of Mono Lake from the Jew Mountain Chalet, and the mountains are right there in front of your face. <laughs> it's the Switzerland of the Eastern Sierra. On this day in 1853, the envelope folding machine was patented. And in 1977, big day in, uh, in American history, the President, uh, President Carter yeah, President Carter uh, pardoned almost all the Vietnam draft um, draft evaders. So lots of people came back from Canada. It's uh, Benny Hill's birthday, Wolfman Jack and Jack Nicholas's birthday, and Emmy Lou Bunton of the Spice Girls. Uh, it's Winter Walker, local gal's birthday. Happy birthday, Winter. Steph Daniel now up in Reno. Local girl Madison Hodges. Ryder McCorm McCormick up in a uh, instructor up on Mammoth Mountain, and Leah Biederman, now over in Florida. Boy, she chose to make a big jump from uh, a local here in June Lake and now in Florida, and Stephanie Price up in the wine country, Napa. It's your birthday, happy birthday to you. What's your forecast? <laughs> make today the best day ever and try to make the best out of uh, this winter weather.